hydroponics is actually a uh, old growing method that people are just stumbling upon again, uh, which is fabulous because it's very easy to uh, have a garden and also have a work schedule. You don't have to sacrifice one for the other. With hydroponics, you're automated. It's clean, it's easy, it's easy for the kids. If you have your nails done, you're a professional woman or a professional man and you don't want to get your hands dirty, hydroponics is definitely for you, for the busy person. You also get the eco-friendliness of the water conservation and not worrying about pumping you know, tons and tons of pounds of fertilizer into our ground, into our groundwater, especially here in Honolulu, that we do get the rains and the runoff going into our oceans, creating algae blooms, suffocating our reefs. And so it's a very eco-friendly way to garden. Again, you save the water, you save the land, you save the nutrients. And so there really aren't, there's no reason to not garden hydroponically. You can do anything hydroponically from strawberries to tomatoes to cucumbers to carrots to beets. Uh, all you have to do is match your growing medium with your system and your plants and that's what we're here for and so we're here to give you advice and knowledge on uh, just about any method of hydroponics that you'd like to do. There are millions of different ways of hydroponics. Um, people tend to uh, go with either the flood and drain units or uh, units that will oxygenate your reservoir uh, and everything in between. Um, there's not really a wrong way to do this as long as you understand simple concepts of how a plant works you're going to be able to pull off any method of hydroponics. Most hydroponic units are going to have a water reservoir in which the water is kept and above that water reservoir you're going to have a flood train in which the plants are kept. Now there's a pump that will be sitting in the reservoir that is going to be kicked on and off by use of a timer. Now that's where the automation comes in. There's a wonderful little device called a timer that's going to water your plants throughout the day for you. And so it makes it very easy. So all you do is spoon the nutrients into your reservoir, fill it up with water, set your timer and turn it on. And then your, your trays above the reservoir will flood and drain for your plants, watering them accordingly. Um, other methods of hydroponics will have, if the plant is submerged in that water reservoir, the reservoir will be oxygenated and that's called deep water culture. And so when you have an external air pump to an air stone in the reservoir, like a bucket for instance, with a lid and a pot over that and the plant's root system submerged in that water solution, you will need to oxygenate that water solution because the plant's root system would love some oxygen. Actually, it requires it. Because with hydroponics, uh, when you take away soil, and you use a substitute for it that will stay wet but won't hold the amount of water that soil will and turn into mud, you're actually able to water your plants 10 times as often as you are able to water your soil plants. Um, and so you get a force feed effect by flooding and draining. Flood, you're water bathing and oxygen, water bathing and oxygen your plants. And that gives them a force feed effect. They grow very rapidly. The yields of hydroponics compared to soil are on a minimum four times the amount of yields that you're getting off your plants and the growth is exponential. Um, we do have a lot of systems here for you to come check out of flood and drain methods along with the deep water culture methods that I am discussing and some automated soil systems as well so uh, whatever your forte is in gardening we have ways to help you out here.